Hey guys, today's video is an updated Lush favorites video. I did one of these probably about five or six years ago on my channel when I first started uploading videos, which is just unbelievable to think about. And it's surprisingly one of my most viewed videos on my channel over all of these years. So I figured it'd be a good thing to update my favorites because I've almost entirely changed them. And I've kind of streamlined what I really like out of Lush over the years. My favorites now are more bath and shower related, whereas my favorites five, six years ago were more, I guess, across the board, um, more random. I had barely used any of those since really so I know that these that I'm about to list to you are my absolute favorites I repurchase them multiple times a year I use them all the time they're tried and true and I love them so without further ado let me get started on my favorite Lush products so first up I have a few bath bombs now you could consider these all the same thing I'm gonna consider them as different things because they're all different scents obviously and I just kind of I don't know I think they're different they're different products they're different scents different colors different smells, different everything, so I figure they can be different products in my videos. So my first favorite bath bomb is Dragon's Egg. It looks really boring. It's white with just rainbow little flecks in it, and when you put it in the bath, it just kind of fizzes white with a little bit of like rainbow swirls throughout. But the smell is really fresh and really cozy to me. It sounds a little strange because it's a bit citrusy. It kind of smells like orange, but it's like a really just like cozy orange. I love Dragon's Egg. It's definitely my favorite out of the three bath bombs that I'm going to show you today based off scent, but let me get into the other ones to show you why I like those. My next favorite bath bomb is Avo Bath. It's this green, minty-ish looking bath bomb. This one's also a little zesty. I believe there's lemongrass in this, so it kind of has like a citrusy type smell as well. I guess that's kind of my theme when it comes to Lush Bath Bomb products, and actually Lush Bath products as a whole. But what I really like about this one is just that it leaves your skin really, really smooth af afterwards. As you can assume from the name, it has avocado in it, and I believe it also has olive oil in it, so it leaves your skin really, really soft, as with all of the bath bombs from Lush, honestly. But this one, I just like the smell and how soft you feel afterwards. My last favorite bath bomb is called Metamorphosis. It's this smoky gray color with a really cool design on it. And if you look on the seam of the bath bomb, you can kind of see some colors peeking through. The first time I got this, I purchased it based off scent. And I was really, really shocked when I actually used it in the water. It starts off gray like this, but as you get to the core of the bath bomb, there's like a green and an orange and like a yellow or pink, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, that kind of seep out of the gray and it's really really cool and like really exciting so that's like kind of the main reason why I like metamorphosis because it's a fun bath bomb but it also smells really nice as well it's kind of a spicy peppery type smell which doesn't sound super I guess inviting for a bath but it's just a really nice I use this I like to use this in the fall it's a really nice fall bath bomb nice and um invigorating I guess you could say in a different way from the citrus scents and it's just really fun because of the bright pop of color inside. Next up is the Bright Side Bubble Bar. Bubble bars are a little bit more expensive than bath bombs because they're not a one-use product. You could get about seven or eight baths out of this bubble bar depending on how you divvy it up and I guess how big the bubble bar is to begin with. Um, that's why I think they're such a great value. I don't think they're even like marketed to last you that many baths, but it's up to you how much you wanna use in a bath and you don't really need that much. This Bright Side Bubble Bar is again another like citrusy kind of smell. It's more orangey, similar to the Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb. Um, I guess I really definitely do have a citrus theme when it comes to my Lush products. I didn't even realize. I've been using Bright Side Bubble Bar for a very, very long time. I started getting bubble bars before I even really purchased bath bombs that much because bath bombs, again, are a one-use product. Bubble bars are a much smarter purchase, I think, because for a couple extra bucks, you can get significantly more baths out of this. And bubble bars, they do change the color of your water. They do give you a big, like, bubbly, of course, bath as well. So they definitely get the job done if you're wanting um, a bit of a more exciting bath experience. And Bright Side has been around for a while, and I just really like the scent, so this is always my go-to bubble bar. The last product that I have physically with me that I'm going to mention is this Naked Shower Gel. It's kind of melting on my fingers because this is a package-free shower gel. You use this, it's a solid, and it obviously, of course, is all product. So when you're finished with it, it's gone and you don't have any plastic left behind. This also comes, of course, in a plastic bottle as well. 
I try to buy the naked products when I can. It's melting all over my fingers, so I'm going to put it down. But I love that shower gel because of the scent. It's the Snow Fairy scent, which comes out during the holidays. And it is so amazing. It's the same scent as their Melting Marshmallow Moment bath oil little tab that they have. They used to also have a bunch of other Melting Marshmallow Moment products, which um, I believe I mentioned one of them in my original Lush Favorites video. It's like a really just super sweet bubblegum scent, and it is so nice. I love the smell of it so much. And I don't really love the bath oil tab in the Melting Marshmallow Moment smell, but Snow Fairy and that are the exact same smell, so whenever the holidays come around, I make sure to buy as many Snow Fairy products as I can, and I specifically like the shower gel just because you always need a shower gel and it works really well. The naked ones work really, really well for moisturizing. I believe they're more moisturizing, in my opinion, than the regular bottled in plastic shower gel. It's just such a fun smell and it like makes you feel like a kid again. It's straight up bubble gum and it's just the best smell. Now I do have one honorable mention that I want to include in this video that was also in my original Lush Favorites video however many years ago. It's the Dark Angels Scrub. It's like a really deep black black scrubby face wash type thing that has little sugar crystals in it. And it's just a face product that I've bought for a long time. I didn't buy it with my last purchase of Lush stuff because I have a lot of other face scrubs that I'm trying out right now, but I did want to throw it in because it's definitely something that I'm purchasing fairly often and I've been using it since my last video and I still do use it, so I feel like it was deserving to mention. Especially because all the products that I have here are either bath or shower related and the Dark Angel scrub is of course like a face wash scrub product, so it kind of diversified my favorites a bit. I'm also going to be writing a blog post on these products. If you want to check that out, I'm going to link it in the description box below. And with that, that is all I have for this video. I thought this would be a fun little roundup kind of coming full circle from that old video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, let me know below. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later.